Right, um, not done any animals for a while, so I like this one. We're going to do a shark. It's a great white shark, but once you've got the basic shape, it could be any, any sort of shark you really want it to be. Um, so I'm going to start with a nice, easy curve coming in. And it's a shorter curve on this side to that side. And then fairly pointed, but not too pointed. And there's almost a, a sense of symmetry to the top and the bottom. There we go. Uh, the fin is not where it's not at the, the center between the high bit and the, the narrow bit, the short bit and the narrow, uh, the narrow side. It's further along. It's about here. So it's slightly just past halfway, I would say. like so and now uh, that's your dorsal fin and now I'm going to put in the pectoral fins they're the ones on the side and I want it to look slightly 3D so what I'm going to do again this is going to be sort of halfway-ish so that's the curve of the fin and it's below if you imagine there's a halfway line down the shark it's just below that halfway line and then I'm just going to bring it down like so with just a very slight curve and then on the far side to make it look slightly 3d you would see that bit of the fin so that's the one on the side that you can't see but you can just see the tip of it uh, so that's your pectoral fin and then we're going to move down to the pelvic fin which is about here and then this one's called the anal fin and then we've got the dorsal and this one is called the back dorsal and it's a bit more triangular that one and then we're going to go in just to the back and you want this to come up like so now i think the key to getting this right is getting the a nice sort of snouty position and then as you come down not too far in coming with a slight curve and then I'm going to go like that and that will be my mouth I'm not going to overdo the teeth I mean you could if you wanted to make it a bit more cartoony really exaggerate the teeth but I'm just going to leave that like that I will be putting teeth in later and then I'm going to put in the nose which looks sort of like a comma almost and then behind it the eye and you want the eye to be not not directly above the end of the mouth because that's too far back you want it to be about halfway between the end of the mouth and where the nose is so somewhere around here and it's just a nice round eye and then i've been looking and it does say that they've got five gill slits so let's put those in one two three four five and they stop around the top of the, the top of the um the pectoral fin so that's roughly the shape of my shark so i can get rid of this line now and when it comes to coloring which is the next bit we'll do in a few seconds it's called a great white because the body is sort of split it's a really effective camouflage because what happens is the underside is nearly white so when you're underneath the shark and you look up if you look up to the sky it's far paler and the top of it is far far darker so you've got this dark gray on the top and this pale gray, uh, uh, white at the base let's get a few teeth in here as well there, that's all that's needed so that's me practicing that's me with my basic lines right so we're going to leave that there okay carrying on we're now going to turn our pencil drawing into a pastel picture you don't need much color it's just black and white basically so we're going to draw it out once again using charcoal 
and I'm going to start shading in and I'm just going to use the side of the charcoal. All the things like the eyes and that we don't colour those in too much just yet because they're all going to be shaded over and blended and we'll just have to go back and do them later. So we're just going to spend a few minutes now getting this shaded. I keep saying this but my charcoal really is getting too small. I do need to get some more. There we go. So I'm not colouring it too much. I'm just putting a little bit of powder on there. And then I'm just going to blend that in a wee bit like so. And any lines that I need to tidy up, I'll just go back over again later. Now I'm going to go back in with the white. This is where it really starts to pop out. And I'm going to catch a few highlights. I think that will do there. Just working it in with my finger. Then I'm going to go back to the black. Leave that little dot of white for the eye. And then for the teeth, because this is such a tiny, tiny space for working with chalk and charcoal. Unless you're doing this on a really big piece of paper. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few dashes of the chalk in there to suggest where those teeth are going to be. Just a, a flash of the white teeth, tidying up some of my lines. And if you remember the other lessons where I say you find that little sharp piece where you can get that little dash of white like so. That's all I'm doing with the teeth. It's a little, little bit high because I've lost some of the black lines. So I'll just tidy that up again and that's all I need to do. But at the minute, it still looks um, like a, a very flat drawing. What I'm going to try and do now is make it look like it's actually in the water. So I want this slightly darker side to my grey. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to build up a few extra layers. That's looking a bit better. So. That's a little bit darker. Now what I'm going to try and do. If this is in the water, you're going to have some light just coming down. I'm just using the chalk just to bring in these shafts of light. And then what I'm going to do is on the shark's body, I'm going to put on these sort of uh, Squiggles. I don't really know how else I'll describe them. And they just look like the light is coming through the water and just playing around, reflecting on the body. just brings it into a different type of environment. I'm going to 
make it a little bit lighter towards the top because there can be more light at the top, not too much. And, oh, I nearly said don't, I've lost my gills. Let's see, I want about one, two, three, four, and five. There we are. They don't have to be too clear. I think we'll call that done. A really quick and easy great white shark.